Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be having a look at canola. So if you're playing with the season's calendar turn on, you're going to want to plant in August or September. And then you'll harvest in July and August the following year. So that's the third one down, canola. That's what we're going for today. Now if you don't have that turn on, it takes roughly around nine months for the canola to grow. So bear that in mind depending on how you play, but we've got seasons turned on. So first up, what we've got in front of us here is this field. It's fully prepped, so we've mulched, ploughed, fertilised, limed, fertilised, cultivated and removed all the stones. So that's give us a 100% fertilising state. So the next thing we need to do after that is to go get some seed in the ground. So I've got my tractor over here hooked up to a cedar so we'll jump in there and what you're going to want to do is make sure that it's set for canola so we'll go LB and Y if you're on Xbox like me we'll flick through till we get to canola so then what we're going to do now is going to go to the side of the field right so we're at the side of the field obviously we've already got the seed put in the cedar but if you do need to buy some, the cheapest option getting it at the shop, we go into the shop menu, is going to be with the big bags. So that's going to give you 800 for a 1,000 litres. So that's the cheapest option unless you go down the road of having the multi-fruit buying silo. So that's your seed. So once you're at the side of the field, you're going to want to unfold. So that's L, B and A. And it'll put the sides out of the seeder. Now for this one, if we go into the shop menu again and down the cedars anything with that canola symbol or icon whichever you want to call it it's going to sow canola so anything along there I've gone for the lemkin because that's my favourite one but anything that will have that icon on it so you've got some of the planters as well will do the canola so like that one there, that Cavernland Optima RS will also do the canola. So there's a few options for you, depending on what you've already got. So I've got this Lemkin. So we've unfolded it. We'll then LB and B lower up down. And then LB and X turn it on. And we'll just drive through the field. You'll see the change in texture. Then all you need to do is go over the whole field and get it covered. So I'll do that and I'll see you at the end. Right, so that's the field done. All the seed has been sown. So then what you want to do next is grab yourself a roller. So then that will give the seed a nice little push into the ground. And then you'll get the most out of the field possible. So I've gone and got this roller here. If you go into the shop, into rollers, I've got this Dalbo Power Roll 1230HD. Now any of these in this section will do the rolling for you. I just prefer this one so it's entirely up to you which one you go for so we'll get that hooked up and I'll see you at the side of the field right so what you're going to want to do like the cedar you're going to want to unfold it so it's L, B and A and that will put the sides out to its maximum width and then once that's done you can get cracking with it so you're going to want to L, B and B to lower it down then you haven't got to turn it on with a roller. Once it's down, you can get cracking. So then we'll just drive into the field. And you can see there, there is a slight change in texture. Only really on the colour though. So it can be a little bit difficult depending on your angle. But you do need to keep an eye on it. So what I'll do, I'll go over the whole field like I did with the cedar. And I'll see you at the end. Right, so that's the field rolled. Now, because we did the full prep to start with, there's not a lot else that we need to keep an eye on. But there may be one thing, depending on your settings, if you've got them turned on, which is weeds. So, I haven't got them turned on because I don't particularly like them. But if you have, what you're going to need to do is keep an eye on it. Because when weeds start sprouting out the ground, you're going to need to deal with them. So you either use a weeder if they're in the first growth stage or you use herbicide if they're a little bit bigger but I've got them turned off so what I'm going to do now is fast forward and we'll see a bit of growth
Right, so we're here in July. You see in the bottom right hand corner there, it's got growth ready to harvest. So let's go jump into the harvester. Right, so what you're going to need for this is a harvester and a header. So if you go into the shop and we go to harvesters, now you're looking for that icon which is the fourth from the left. So the green stalk with the yellow flowers. So anything that will harvest that is what you're going to need to use. So it's basically any harvester really. And then you're going to need a harvester header, which is going to be the same as the base standard crop. So anything that's got that canola icon there, you can use. So I've gone for this Fent Dynaflex 9255 to go with me Fent. Now, obviously, depending on your budget, depends on what you go for. If you want to go for a smaller one, you're just going to have a smaller working width and a smaller tank. But, you know, you do you with what budget you've got. So first off, we're going to need to unfold the harvesters. So L being A, that's going to put the pipe out the back and then open up the tank storage on the top. So once that's done, you do LB and X, it will turn it on and lower the header, and we'll just drive into the crop, just like so. So now we're harvesting the canola. Now it doesn't get any straw off of this, so it is just the crop coming off the field. So I'll get this done and I'll see you at the end. Right, so that's the field harvested. So what we'll do, we're going to unload this into our silo. Because there is three options of what you can do with the canola once you've got it done. So I'll get this unloaded and I'll go get myself a trailer. Right, so your first option is going to be to sell the crop as it is. So if we go into the shop menu there and we've got canola, the best price is Goldcrest Valley at 1724 per thousand litres. Now you need a train for that, so that's a different video. Go check it out on how to use the trains. So for the base map sell points, we've got oil mill there at 1528. So what you do, you come down to the oil mill, you pull over that icon there, the unload icon, it will give you the prompt R, B, and Y, and you'll unload into there and sell your canola. Now also, what you can do with the oil mill specifically, is if you own it, you can turn that canola into canola oil. So you'll go in, you'll buy the production, it's going to cost you 80 grand, and then you own it. So then you do exactly the same, unload it into that grating there, and then you'll turn it into canola oil to make more profit. So obviously, depending on what you want to go with, what you want to do, that's your two options there for you. Now the third option, I'll see you back at the farm. Right, so your third option is going to be feeding it to your pigs. So if we go into the animal section, and it will say there that you can use it as part of the feed ratio, shall we say. Okay, so we'll go and put this in and feed the pigs. Obviously you can't if you want to get the most out of your pigs, shall we say, feed them completely on canola. But it is part of the ratio makeup for getting the most out of them. So there we are. So pull over to that onload icon. R, B, and Y. We'll start loading it in. We go back into the menu. And that's part of the protein section. So you want 20% of that. To be canola so that's your three options and that is canola for you so drop it in the comments below are you going to be doing canola what are you going to be using it for are you going to just sell it off are you going to use it to feed your pigs are you going to want to take it up a level and go to the production chains we'll see which one comes out on top if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and I'll see you in the next one.